Hey Fit Friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Holly of RenewalFitCoach.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a nutrient-packed green protein smoothie. This is my go-to breakfast every single morning and I love it because it gives me lots of energy, gives me tons of nutrients, and it keeps me full for a long time. This is a great option if you're someone who maybe is on the go in the morning, you don't have a lot of time to make breakfast, or maybe you don't like to eat breakfast right away and so you'd rather just take it with you and eat it later, say at work. This is also great if you hear about all these different nutrients that are so good for you, but you wonder how the heck am I supposed to get all of these things into my day all the time? This is your way to do it. All right, so first off, I'm gonna show you all the ingredients that you will need. I'll explain some of the benefits and why I use these, and then we'll put it all together. So to get started, you'll need a blender or food processor of some type. I have the Oster food processor and it is amazing. It works super well and it comes with these little uh, shaker type bottles. You can make a variety of things in. It's got a really sharp blade. It does a great job at chopping and blending things up. So that's what I'm gonna use, but you can use any type of food processor or blender that you have. Next up, our ingredient list. Now, there are quite a few ingredients in this recipe, so if you don't have some of them, it's fine, and you can always add in other things that you love. I don't necessarily do every single ingredient every single day, but generally, these are what I like to put into my shake, so feel free to adapt it as you prefer. So first, you'll need a base of a liquid. I usually just use water, but you could also use something like oat milk or almond milk. The next thing you'll add is flax seeds, and chia seeds. So I love these because they provide omega-3 fatty acids, which aren't found in a lot of other foods. Flaxseed can also be helpful in balancing women's hormones, and both of these have a good amount of fiber. So I like to grind these first. I will typically grind a batch and just mix them together and keep it in the refrigerator. That way, when you put it into the smoothie, your body can actually absorb it. When, the whole, when you have just the whole seeds, it's harder for your body to actually absorb, and a lot of times, it just goes right out of your body. Then you'll add in organic baby spinach. So I just do a small handful of this just to get in a little extra serving of leafy greens for all of the vitamins and minerals. After that, you're gonna add in some fruit. So we take bananas and freeze them ahead of time in a little bag in our freezer. And then I like to use a berry blend um, to get a variety of berries because they are packed full of nutrients and they're some of the lower calorie fruit. So having these two frozen options is really great because it'll add a really good texture to your shake and help to keep it cold. Then you can also add in some MCT oil. I like this as a natural source of energy and a good healthy fat. Then you'll need some oatmeal. We keep it in a big container so it's easy to grab with our measuring cups in there so you know exactly how much you're getting. So a little bit of your typical quick oats that you can find at any grocery store. Now, so far, everything that I've mentioned to you, I pretty much get from Costco. Everything that I'm about to show you, we typically purchase off of Amazon, so I will provide the links to those in the description below. Then we're gonna add in some greens to make this incredibly healthy. So these greens are from doTERRA. These are my favorite. They're really sweet. They've got greens and fruits in here. So I love these for flavor plus all the health benefits. There's a couple of servings of fruits and vegetables per day just in this powder. Then I'm gonna add in some Hawaiian spirulina. Spirulina is great for helping to detoxify the body and is full of other nutrients. Then some other powders I use for a little bit more nutrition. I'm gonna add in maca powder. So some of the reasons I use this is because it's great for energy, it can be good for mood, it's also great for endurance, and even good for libido. Then we're gonna add in some cinnamon. I typically use organic Ceylon cinnamon. One of the reasons for that, one, is that it tastes good, but also that it helps with managing and controlling blood sugars. And then beetroot powder. So we use organic beetroot powder. This is also great if you are into athletics, whether that's endurance training or strength training, but particularly for endurance training, it's great for blood flow and has been shown in some studies to help improve performance. Another great thing to add in is some mushrooms. So I've used a few different brands of this, but a mushroom blend powder is great to use so that you get a lot of immune support, brain function support, energy, endurance. And then of course we have to add protein. 
So one of my favorites is this doTERRA whey protein. They also have a vegan option as well if you don't like to do whey. So this is a chocolate one. They also have vanilla. This tastes great and it's full of a high quality proteins. One other option, if I'm not using my doTERRA protein, is I will use Orgain. So Orgain's got a few different flavors, vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. I love this one. It's a great vegan protein that is also full of some greens, probiotics, vitamins, and minerals, and they taste great. And then what I'll typically do is I'll take half a scoop of that, and then, or take one scoop of this, and one scoop of a collagen powder. So I like this because you get a little bit of extra benefit to hair, nails, skin, and joints. So these make a great combination, or sometimes I will do half a scoop of this and half a scoop of this. So feel free to use whatever protein suits you best and the flavors that you prefer. I just like to mix them a little bit so I get benefits from each kind of protein. Okay, whew, that's it, that's all our ingredients. So now all we have to do is put it together, blend it up, and we're ready to go. like I said, is it comes with these little tops that make it really easy to take on the road with you. You just twist that on and then it's a perfect little drinking top to help keep everything protected and safe so it won't spill. Now, I know that's kind of a lot of powders and things to go through, so here's a little tip. This is what my husband and I do, is we take old supplement containers and instead of using all these bags and getting powders all over your hand and having to store all these bags in your cupboards, we just take small containers, we dump whatever will fit into it. This is our beetroot powder in an old cup. And then we stack those in our cabinets. So it takes up a lot less space. We keep all our little measuring tools in there because almost all the powders come with a measuring tool so you know exactly how much to put in there. So we just keep them in these in the cabinet to make it much easier, much faster of a process. And once you're used to it, this really doesn't take much time at all to make in the morning or whenever you need a shake. Now, if you want more personalized nutrition, you wanna know what to put into your food that will really help you in particular, feel free to contact me for a free consultation. I am a holistic nutritionist. I'm also in the process of becoming a registered dietitian. So I would love to help you with custom one-on-one -on -one nutrition coaching. Also, if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. It's great support to me and it helps me to keep creating content like this to help you on your path to becoming healthier. And until the next video, blessings on your health and fitness journey.